This is a hose to replace the handle of this Ultra Force axe uh, to, to a longer one. And I hope it's a how to, not a how not to, because this is the very first time I do that. At first I saw of the old handle and you should make sure not to clamp in the eye of the hatchet since it could deform and make it hard to put in a new handle later. And you obviously want a magic third hand to hold the hat so it doesn't fall to the ground or break. If you however don't happen to have a third hand, other means of help are okay too. And now we need to drill out the uh, remaining wood. We now do have to clamp in the head of the hatchet, so I use wood to prevent deforming. It was an absolute pain in the ass to drill out the remaining wood in the eye. We even later used a drill press, which didn't work out as planned either. Apparently, the wood is extremely robust and almost seems to be clued to the head, which it actually isn't. We eventually got it out though. This front piece is still stuck. Finally! Uh, now you need to fit the head to the handle. Uh, probably won't fit perfectly since this is hard crafted so you have to take a rubber hammer and hold on stop it right there this later turned out to be really dumb the new handle was stuck to the head bump proof and it took us again a lot of effort to get it out again so what you should do is pound in the new handle with a rubber hammer as shown but really gently, so that you can easily pull it out at any point. And if the handle does not yet stick out of the eye, grab yourself some sandpaper or a rasp and take off as much wood as needed, so that the handle fits perfectly into the eye. Um, you have to use a rasp or a knife to uh, remove as much wood that it, it kind of fits, and then you have to grab a Rubber hammer, pound it, yep, looks nice. Then you take the wooden wedge and put some wood glue on it, for fuck's sake, come on. And then you align the wedge with the axe, take your wooden hammer, Then you saw the wedge off. I decided I didn't like the length of the wood sticking out, so I shortened it a little bit. You should be careful when doing this. Shortening it too much could later result in a wobbling head as the excess wood is holding the axe head in place. I recommend leaving at least half a centimeter.
then you take the metal pin And there you have it, your axe is done. I later treated the handle with linseed oil, which lets the wood swell, improving the stability of the eye. In conclusion, I can highly recommend swapping the handle. I hadn't done this before either, but I think it turned out great. The short handle was my only diazide with this hatchet, but the longer one fits perfectly in small bags too. But chopping is so much easier than before. Thanks for watching.